Hello and welcome to today's MJ News Digest, September 24, 2020. Here are today's headlines, MJ cast respond, MJ loves the Brady Bunch leaving Neverland 2 and horrific auction, oh my god. But before uh, we get to the, the news stories, I just want to say a big thank you to all of you who watched uh, the video yesterday, Loving Neverland vs. MJ Cast, and for all of you who contributed in the comments. We had some really good discussions. Our opinions might have differed, but we had healthy discussions. We kept it positive, and that's what we should be doing as the MJ fan, the MJ fan community. So thank you very much. I haven't read all of the comments yet, but I will do, believe me. Thank you. Okay, so uh, I just wanted to show you uh, that I did get in touch with uh, uh, Placid But Vocal, I think that was uh, Twitter name, um, who was part of the Loving Neverland uh, production, but unfortunately she has uh, left Twitter. Um, I hope it's a short break, uh, so I'm unable to show you the tweets, uh, but we had a really good discussion uh, backwards and forwards on Twitter. There was no ill feeling on um, either parts, uh, and also the um, MJ cast. Uh, responded so they replied to both uh, myself and Placid but vocal and this is what they said um, I would like to say for the record that we are supportive of the documentary obviously loving Neverland and especially look forward to the revised narration which we hope will help it reach an even wider audience so thank you MJ cast so it kind of felt that maybe peace was reigning on the MJ fan community uh, regarding this um, so yes yeah, so unfortunately uh, Placid But Vocal's account uh, doesn't exist. Um, as I said, I hope that she will be back soon. Uh, Nan's uh, Twitter account is still there and uh, Loving Neverland is still up. The last time I checked on uh, YouTube, it was on 115,000 views, which is amazing. So we can't wait for it to come back even better than it was before. Okay, so on to showbiz cheat sheet. The Brady Bunch Michael Jackson dated this cast member from the show. Here's the story of a superstar singer who dated a cast member from the 1970s hit show The Brady Bunch. For a brief while, iconic artist Michael Jackson dated a star from the still beloved comedy series. A big fan of the show, Jackson was as starstruck with this actor as they were with him. Now, I used to love the Brady Bunch. Me and my sister, we didn't watch it when it was originally on, we're too young for that, but we used to watch the reruns. Um, me and my sister used to uh, reenact the hijinks that the Brady Bunch got up to, and unfortunately, we were banned from watching the Brady Bunch because we were causing too much mischief. The Brady Bunch was probably the most wholesome TV show ever, but our parents banned us from watching it. Anyway, uh, Michael Jackson dated Maureen McCormick. In her 2008 memoir, Here's the Story, Surviving Marsha Brady and Finding My True Voice, actor Maureen McCormick, who played eldest Brady daughter Marsha on the series explained how she met Michael. She said I met the Jackson 5 when they visited us in the recording studio where we were doing the voices for the Brady Kids animated series. Michael was a fan and we became friends um, and she met the family. The two began seeing more of one another and eventually began dating on a 2015 episode of I'm a Celebrity Get Me Out of Here! McCormick now 63 shared that she was around 15 when the two dated. We held hands and kissed on the cheeks, never on the lips McCormick told her fellow guests on the reality show show. It was so cute. He loved our show. They all did though, she said, referring to Jackson's family. We used to go over and hang out and watch them rehearse. We would talk a lot and dream a lot and just I think we admired each other, she said. Uh, McCormick was also friendly with the rest of the Jackson family. Nice photo there. There's McCormick. Um, I think that might be Michael there. I'm not entirely sure. I think it is, judging by the previous photo. Anyway, uh, in her memoir, the actor explained that it wasn't only Michael Jackson with whom she enjoyed friendship but with his family as well. She wrote that they were very welcoming to her and one member of Michael's family however uh, filled her with fear. Michael's parents made me nervous she wrote. I was a little afraid of his father and his mother struck me as a strong silent type. I became even friendlier with Michael's sister Latoya than I was with Michael. She was fun, had a good sense of humour. She used to confide in me about how strict her parents were. It was funny. We were shopping buddies and when I picked her up she would always say that she couldn't wait to get out of there house. Thank you, Marsha Brady. Okay, so on to some unpleasant news. Uh, so this is from uh, Twitter. 
from uh, MJ Repository. Uh, Dan Reed, uh, citing Channel 4 and added to be determined US network, has just been granted access to bring his equipment to all future court events starting tomorrow, obviously regarding Wade versus the estate. Dan is the only one who made such requests with the new judge to have as exclusive coverage to splice and edit for leaving Neverland 2. Now we knew this was uh, happening. Uh, this is uh, the court order, I guess, given uh, Dan Reed permission. There is an, an address on here. Don't worry, it's not Dan Reed's home address. It's uh, his bus the, the business address. Uh, so yes, we knew this was happening. The estate have known that this was happening for a while. This is confirmation this was filed on the 22nd of September. Uh, some of the replies to the tweets are asking why the estate haven't filed uh, the same thing. You know, asking uh, the judge if they can also film, uh, but the estate haven't done that and the estate have said that they will not uh, give any information about their legal activities. So, Leaving Neverland 2 is happening. Get ready. Okay, so this is that awful exhibition from the uh, ex Memorabilia Expert auction. Um, this is their website, Michael Jackson, the most collected artist in the world. It ends on September the 26th. Uh, before we view the collection, let's just have a look at this front page. So it says here, what should you believe? Um, a new documentary called Chase the Truth has been released. Uh, it's a bit behind the times, isn't it? Uh, defending Michael Jackson against the, and it refers to the allegations, and it refers to leaving Neverland. But there's loads of links here on this front page. And if you click on the Michael Jackson link, it brings you to NME and their collection of Michael Jackson news stories, uh, which aren't particularly uh, positive. Um, let's go back. Uh, always going a bit slow, isn't it? Here we go. So scroll back down to the Leaving Neverland. Um, uh, it's interesting that the Michael Jackson link doesn't link to MichaelJackson.com, but I can I can guess why it doesn't. Uh, and if you click on the Leaving Neverland link, uh, it takes you to again Enemy and a blog post about Leaving Neverland. How to watch the shocking documentary. Obviously, it's not a pleasant article. Um, so it's clear that this auction house are courting controversy obviously with the items and also by packing their front page with all these uh, negative links uh, so there's a somewhat uh, I guess you could call it a biography but again it's linking to the HBO documentary you can see Leaving Neverland uh, mentions quite a few times uh, it also goes on to say uh, at one point that Leaving Neverland uh, premiered at the Sundance Festival in 2018 uh, which obviously <laughs> isn't correct um, it also links to a New York Times article which isn't uh, pleasant at all uh, lots of mention of allegations of, uh, about Michael Jackson's appearance um, really not pleasant uh, and then it goes on to say that Thriller uh, is the second most sold, out, sold album in the world uh, apparently um, uh, and also it uh, talks about Marsha Stewart so Marsha Stewart has put these uh, items up uh, so it says here who is Marsha Stewart uh, apparently Marsha was Michael Jackson's cousin and Joe Jackson's niece Marsha also happened to be the chairwoman of Michael Jackson's fan mail no idea what that is and she transitioned as the official caretaker of Joe Jackson towards the end of her life I guess that should say his life uh, both of the, these roles in the Jackson family prove how exclusive these personal items are from both Joe Jackson and Michael Jackson then it says heck you can even bid on Joe Jackson's denture oh god this is just awful isn't it absolutely it's just grim uh, uh, and obviously there's a bit here about the never seen before Michael Jackson's IV bag right before he died oh my god I will be sharing uh, this uh, but first of all let's just have a look at some of the videos on their official website this is the first one I won't be playing the whole thing believe me there's nothing more iconic than Michael Jackson pop star king of pop and this is a shirt he wore to the Grammys did he wear that to the Grammys I don't remember Michael Jackson ever wearing that to the Grammys and she isn't convinced either and you'll see why in a moment. And that armband, I don't think I can recall Michael Jackson ever wearing um, that MJ this armband. Has his MJ, his band that he wore, which is just so important. I mean, that he always wore that armband. Did he? We don't have a photo match. However, it does have a <laughs> Grammy pin. They don't have a photo match, but apparently that shirt does come with a Grammy pen. So uh, they can't verify that he this is actually Michael's. Like this, as we can see, 
He wore shirts like this. If anyone bids on this crap, they're absolutely, they've absolutely lost their minds. Okay, so the second video, uh, oh, so it hasn't been uploaded yet. Either it hasn't been uploaded or they have deleted the video. Hmm, not very professional, is it? When you're asking for 2,500 for an IV bag. Third video, this is Michael Jackson's wig, apparently. Just by looking at this wig, I know that you know who this is. Oh my gosh, whose wig could that be? Who? It's Michael Jackson. Never. And just oh by the God. hairstyle alone, you know this is Michael. Michael unfortunately had that incident uh, during the commercial where he actually burnt, you know, his hair and he was wearing wigs ever since. Burnt his hair? This comes directly from the Michael Jackson collection. A wig like this sold for 80000 plus. Okay, this wig comes directly from his closet. From his closet? Who stores Jackson. wigs in a closet? Uh, and the photos that she is showing do not show Michael Jackson wearing that wig at the same all. Style here. Again, she's saying it's the same style. She's not actually saying that these this is the wig that Michael Jackson wore. Don't fall for this bullshit. I'm sorry for swearing, but I think I'm going to be swearing quite a bit during this. Uh, and the fourth video, again, is something that hasn't been uploaded or maybe it was deleted. Uh, there, is, there was one other video on Twitter which I'll show you now, which is Marsha Stewart herself uh, with the IV bag. So let's just have a look at this. I do apologise for this. Bloody hell. Oh. Which was part of the eight, and I noticed this. This was um, over by the stand, and what I did, I took it. And put so she's basically saying that she stole this from Michael Jackson's bedroom <clears throat> um, after he died. Isn't that tampering with a crime scene? It's just beggar's belief. This actually belonged to Michael Jackson. It had some white, like milk fluid inside of it which later on uh dissolved but this is okay so that's complete bollocks uh, she's saying that it had a white milk fluid in it obviously referring to propofol but that, that according to her it dissolved propofol is an emotion is an, an is an emulsion emulsion does not dissolve michael right here dna that's what jesus christ here. And this is one of the IVs, the last one actually, that he had in his arm when he died. Oh, Oof. oh, so yes, you can imagine the collective outcry of oh, rage when this appeared on Twitter yesterday. So back to the website, Michael Jackson, the most collected artist in the world. View the collection, must we? Let's have a look at uh, what else is being sold. Oh, okay, so uh, we have some, uh, we're not gonna go through all of it, I'm just gonna give you a, a little taster of what's for, for sale. Michael Jackson worn shoes, apparently. There's the IV bag. Um, so starting bid is 2,500. There is already a bid on there. Why? Why is there a bid? The page has been viewed almost 500 times. Uh, there's the video and uh, blurb. I haven't read this. I've got no intention of reading this. Why would anyone bid for this? Oh my god. I don't even believe that this is... Uh, I don't know. Did she take this? Something isn't quite adding up with this. Uh, <laughs> Michael Jackson wig, uh, we've seen this, but look at the way they title uh, these uh, these lots. Uh, so it says Michael Jackson worn shoes. It's not actually saying that Michael Jackson wore the shoes. Uh, like for example, this Michael Jackson stage used shirt. Uh, stage used shirt, what does that mean? Does that even mean that it belonged to Michael Jackson? Again, Michael Jackson worn boots Givenchy. Did Michael Jackson actually wear them or are they boots that have been worn down i don't know that something is really 
shitty about this whole thing something's a bit fishy it doesn't add up at all and i just cannot believe the depths that people will go to to make money off michael jackson um, and the jackson family maybe i shouldn't be surprised maybe at this point none of us should be surprised uh, this this is it apparently uh, michael jackson worn jacket uh, yeah michael jackson did wear a gold jacket during this is it but if you look at a close-up um, of this photo uh, this jacket is sequined uh, the gold jacket michael jackson wore in this is it was not sequined uh, there are platinum discs there are hats and there's this joe jackson's dentures it's not often it's not often that i'm speechless but i'm pretty speechless right now absolutely fucking disgusting the whole thing is just grim Oh, anyway, so let's go get on to something a little bit nicer. This is my YouTube recommendation of the day. Michael Jackson hospital visit, Washington, January 1993. Let's cleanse our palate with something short and sweet. It's only 40 seconds. I will link it in the description. And that's it for today's MJ News Digest. Thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. Please like, comment and subscribe because the best is yet to come.